Greetings and happy International Women's Day. This year's theme is Women in the Changing World of Work, Planet 5050 by 2030. We are working towards substantive equality by 2030. Currently, some 770 million people live in extreme poverty, the majority of them women. Most of them are out of work or in low paying jobs. To get to the future with substantive equality, we will have to shift the current paradigm for women and girls. Because right now, 76% of the world's men are earning salaries, compared with only under 50% of women. Women in the informal sector, who make up the majority of the working poor, need an enabling macroeconomic context. Further, women must not be confined to traditionally feminine careers and low-paying or non-paying jobs. They must be exposed to a broad range of careers at all levels, from public sector to private sector, modern agriculture, and be ready for the climate smart economies of the future. They must be prepared for jobs in the digital industries where currently women are just one quarter of the workforce. Achieving these changes will take macroeconomic policies that recognize the potential of women to drive inclusive economic growth. This includes creative steps like investing in social infrastructure, such as pipe water and clean energy. Social infrastructure is key to freeing girls and women from the care responsibilities. Ensuring increased participation in the economy includes supporting men's uptake of employment benefits like paternity and parental leave, as well as expanded maternity leave for working women, including their re-entry into the workforce. These are policy choices that public and private sector employers have to make. This is what goal five of the Sustainable Development Goals is about. This is the goal on gender equality. In addition, the right education with relevant skills for the future is fundamental so that more girls can enter and finish schools. More girls must have qualifications in STEM subjects and experience in analytic thinking that leads to higher education and better paying jobs. Currently, only 18% of undergraduate computer science degrees are held by women. To make these changes also means we have to overturn stereotypes about what women and girls can do and can't do. And it means paying women the same salaries as men for work of equal value. Currently, on average, women earn 23% less than men. Sustainable changes also mean changing stereotypes that confine men outside the home. A change in the world of work must be about creating opportunities for women to be full economic citizens.